Carlisle Greenwell, the 16th of March 1884 to the 7th of February 1961, was an Australian architect whose houses, designed in the first half of the 20th century, are often heritage listed. He was also a philanthropist who made bequests to the University of Sydney funding research in anthropology and archaeology. Topic: Early life. Greenwell was born in Windsor and was educated at Newington College 1897 Architectural career Greenwell studied architecture at Sydney Technical College because there was no university architecture course available in Sydney, but also attended architecture lectures in the engineering faculty at University of Sydney. He later studied at the University of Pennsylvania and was awarded a B.Sc. Arch. in 1911. Before studying abroad, Greenwell had been articled to the firm of Kent and Budden, and in 1912 he joined them in partnership as Kent Budden and Greenwell. During this time, Greenwell designed a number of now heritage-listed houses for family and friends in Strathfield, New South Wales and Kalara, New South Wales. His design for a substantial domestic dwelling in Woodside Avenue, Strathfield, is characteristic of his houses of this period. Another notable design showing his distinctive rough-cast stucco columns is Terran Worthel, which was featured in Domestic Architecture in Australia, edited by William Hardy Wilson, Sydney, Angus and Robertson, 1919. These homes had elements of the Federation Arts and Crafts and Federation Bungalow styles. After the departure of Harry Kent, the firm became known as Budden and Greenwell. In this period, Greenwell designed the interwar Gothic-styled Kalara Congregational Church, which later became the Kalara Uniting Church, the Woolamaloo Bay Mothers and Wives Memorial to Soldiers one, and the Harrison House now Weiss Restaurant in Toowoomba. In 1931, while in partnership as Greenwell and Shirley, Greenwell designed the Norman House in Vaucluse. Topic. Personal life At the age of 53, Greenwell married Sybil Enid Vera Monroe Morrison, a divorcee who was the first female practicing barrister in New South Wales, at St. Stephen's Presbyterian Church on 16 March 1937. Topic. War service Greenwell served as an army officer in both World War I and World War II. Topic. Legacy Greenwell died at Collaroy, New South Wales, on 7 February 1961. His estate funded the Carlisle Greenwell Research Fund at Sydney University for student research, field work and original literary work in anthropology. A substantial bequest to the Art Gallery of NSW included works by George Lambert, Sidney Long, Kenneth McQueen and John Possmore. Over many years he was also a major donor to the Australian Museum. <laughs> 